that make you want to sing along when you hear something like that, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on and say it, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mr. Jeff Floyd is on the radio. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing great. I'm just be glad when you guys put me over that way so I can go ahead and put this thing down. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's, it's a... They've been waiting on you, man. I've been everywhere but this area. I'm, 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 I'm wondering if they love you over there. Yeah. We got a lot of love for you, man. <laughs> ah, what's going on, partner? Man, we are ready. We are ready. And uh, I understand that Jeff Floyd and the gang is going to be down in our... Well, the closest one you're going to get to us right now is on the coast. I mean, uh, <laughs> that, that's going to be... Yeah, go. Down there with Herman Williams. Yeah. It's going to be... They got the Stimmy Sun in there. We, uh, we've been trying to put some things together for the longest to come that way. But I told Herman, I said, well, you make sure that the radio advertisers make a whole lot in that Hattiesburg area and... You invite all the people from Hattiesburg uh, to come down to Gulfport so we can part of that Houston. Okay, man. It seems like you're losing your voice a little bit. What's going on with that, yeah, man? I've been, I've been <laughs> in the studio working on a brand new CD, and they got me hitting all these notes. I'm going to I'm a baritone in that, in that, in that low tone. They want me to hit all them high notes. I said, man, y'all going to kill me up there. I know. Old, huh? And my plan was to wear you out on radio today, man. I, and, and <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can wear that on the radio, but I ain't got a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll work too. Uh, Jeff Lloyd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jeff, you got a lot of good stuff out, man. Everybody jamming to it. Uh, Lock My Door has been out for years now, and it's still going. Well, not Lock My Door, but uh, Love on a Lonely, Ch- Highway. Lonely Highway. My, my, my. That song, is that your signature now, uh, Jeff? That's the signature. Oh. And um, Lock My Door is right behind it because some kind of way it done caught up with it and about to. Uh, get in the same lineup because we get just as many requests for that lock my door and we do a lonely highway now, especially overseas like London, England and Rome, Italy and Tokyo, Hong Kong. Uh, went to South Seoul, Korea, worked for the, uh, the, um, the Army Navy there. Okay. And also we do a thing at, um, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Osaka, Japan. Mm-hmm. No, that's new to me. That's, that's where your, your movie stars at the okay. one. I don't know if you remember Black Brain. Right. Mike Douglas was in that movie there. And right. I Bruce remember. He shot a lot of movies over there. But all, all your, your, your Japanese uh, superstars over in that area. And we was talking earlier, uh, the Floyds. <laughs> we got a Mr. Vernon C. Floyd up here, <laughs> and he's originally out of Mobile, Alabama. And uh, we was talking, and uh, you, know the, you, really say, you know that bloodline uh, goes on. <laughs> I, hey, well, he might be some kidney killer. You never know, man. My yeah. dad was moving around a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you, you heard of King Floyd. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, King he, Floyd and all he, told, he told us he was uh, in Shawnsville, a traveling okay. insurance salesman. And uh, he said he sold his shorts all over, so I don't know. Okay, it's a, it's a lot of good Floyds going around. <laughs> 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 I tell you what, but, yeah, yeah, it was something. But yeah, man, we, uh, we've been getting a lot of play on that last uh, CD, uh, Rock My Door. And I don't want to throw that, but somebody's going to do a little bit warmer tonight. Oh, man, that, that's, what I was gonna, that's what I was going to get at you at with. <laughs> because I saw the video, man. You yeah, look at when King Size Bed jumped out there. I was like, what's going on? Okay. Man, you got a number one here in Charleston, South Carolina. And I think they said something about Charlotte. I said, what? Okay. They said, yeah, that King Size Bed jumped out. Man. And when we, when we looked at it, we said, okay, we're going to have to get us some real beds down <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, I saw the video on that one. Also, man, uh, uh, another one of your songs getting good airplay is Shake It. Man, that's, oh, shit. Yeah, do you realize how, how hot that is down here in Hattiesburg? Do Not, and that's on the lot one door CD. That's, that's what I'm saying. saying. Now, the one I was talking about with somebody who knew the woman in King's Eyes Bit on the second CD, the one before lot one door. Okay. And that's how Shake Something Loose done jumped out there, and it done got wild. I mean, the women, we got a little shit. Six up loose contest that we put on. We bring up about five or six ladies I know it, uh-huh. and we let them shake the way they can, you know. <laughs> but if they want to shake something loose, that's fine. Because I tell them if you drop something, they be picking Look out now. Huh? You know, especially when they out their money. That's right. I'm, Look I'm, out. I'm picking up money. Here where I go. So shake it loose if you want. Okay. But the thing is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, that shake something loose, man, it done got wide. Yes, oh, it is. I, I'm coming all over Georgia. 
Mississippi, Louisiana, and going to about to go crazy in Dallas, uh, where was it? Dallas, Texas, Dallas, and, and Nacogdoches, Texas. Okay. I was like, man, what's going okay. on? Well, but Sick from Lewis is another hot one. That's one of the, like, well, see, that's, that's one of the songs. That's, how you want it. That's one of the songs. How you want it. Uh, Lafayette, yeah. the Opelousas area, pushed that one over to Baton Rouge, and Baton Rouge got, got the swing that was going forth to New Orleans, mm-hmm. and that became another hit. So it's like you said, it's a lot of hits. Right. And I didn't know until I get almost in the city limits, I'm listening to the radio, because I don't come and stuff. Let me turn right. the radio, see if they got it every time. Okay. <laughs> See, people don't realize, Jeff, that you guys, you guys have your uh, music already uh, ready to go, already that you've been ready. practicing and everything. Then when you come to a town and they throw this at you, you know, that's why I ask all the artists that come here, uh, what you, they ask me what I'm playing. I say, well, I'm playing everything, so be prepared. <laughs> so, that's, that's why it's kind of uh, important for you to try to get me in that area so it's possible because I don't get a chance to play a right. lot of my stuff because a lot of places, after you play Lonely Highway, somebody's going to lose the warm I got warm enough to set, King Size Bend, Lock My Door, it's pretty much a route. You know, that's right, it. right. But when you go to an area like where you at, where you plan everything, mm-hmm. and uh, next to you, Herman, some other guy, they fill me in, I need to go to those places because now I get a chance to play other music besides the Lock My Door, right. Lonely Highway, somebody's going to lose, King Size Bend. I get a chance to play that other stuff, you know, like planning my weekend. Okay. How you want it, shake something loose. <laughs> um, it's you. I'm giving you my private number. Let's get it on. I'm and giving up all yes, other yes. girls, magic girls. You know, you, you start getting other people say, well, man, I didn't know that was his music. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm it's saying. Like that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what, you know, we got to stay on top of things, too, us uh, jocks. We have to stay on top of it. And like when me and you talked earlier, you know, Get it to me, and we get it there. We can get it on the air. <laughs> well, I'm, we I'm going to get you everything you need, now that I know that you're playing everything, because a lot of radio stations, they can't play everything. Exactly, exactly. You're you right about that. And I didn't find that out until I went around the country right. doing different uh, shows with, you know, Mel Waiters and Odyssey and right. Right. Sir Charles and Reggie B. and T.K. So we was traveling around the world right. and hitting different spots and that blues all right to her. Uh-huh. And, um, I found out some of the radio stations just can't play. Well, you, you, you know the deal on that. We don't even have to uh, talk about so it I in public. I don't, get, I don't get upset, but I do right. know it's good to know that there's places like Hattiesburg that mm-hmm. do. And then that way, when we come there, people hear more than just the norm. You know, right. They say, well, man, um, he got so many songs, I wonder if he's going to be able to do them all. Oh, yeah, he's going to be able to do them all. <laughs> if, if anybody ever seen a Jeff Lloyd show, they know you come with it. So two hours, and look out. sometimes two and a half to three hours long. Yeah. Now, if we on a, on, a, on a stage with male waiters and, and Sir Charles and all that, where we got a whole lot of other entertainment, then you can't step this long. Right, because right. Now you're getting into the daytime. You yeah, know? you know, uh, you, you guys is... Uh, you know, Tyrone and them was gone and everything, and you guys just moved right on up to the top. And uh, you got younger guys under you guys looking at you guys now. So you have to kind of look back at them a little bit. <laughs> well, we learned from them. Right, exactly. Fact, if it wasn't, exactly. If it wasn't for the Tyrone Davis and the Johnny Taylor and the, and the, and the, uh, the, the, the uh, Sir Charles and all that, we wouldn't have been in the grass. And even I, I tell a lot of people I learned a lot from Bobby Wall, man. And, and when you when you when you when you have those type of uh, icons that that you can learn from, and and, and then at the same time uh, produce over mm-hmm. again some of their music or some of their sounds. I know you hear a lot of sounds in my music that you would hear in some of their music, exactly. Bobby Wall, right. man, Jailbird, and so on and so on, because those are some of my idols, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and I try to stay close to that real singing. As possible, people like to hear real singing from the heart, from the from, from the streets. You know that that, right. that realness. You know, not that that I went and learned how to sing. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know if you know that that means. You see, when you go and to learn how to sing from a teacher, that's mm-hmm. that's not really the real thing. It's real singing. You, you 
you know, back in the slavery days, you had to be out there picking cotton. You had to come up with it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, you Don't get me started. Cotton. You had to come up with whatever. <laughs> okay. And you had to go to a school and teach say, okay, uh, 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 all that. See, you, you go on with notes that the teacher telling you to try to reach for. Mm-hmm. I like to go for whatever I feel. Right, right. Yeah. I feel you on that one, man. Feel, whether it's a bad note or a good note. And you hit an, you, Jeff, you hit an icon uh, song a, a while back, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Otis Redding. Yep, absolutely. You, you, I mean, knock, I, you I knocked that one out, man. I can go on. I'm talking about James Brown, too. But you, you hit know, when, when, you, when you hear me scream out, uh-huh. I'm James Brown. Okay. You know? Okay. <laughs> That's all right. And uh, Otis, now Otis was a bad boy. A lot of people didn't get the chance to right. show live. But what I did, I studied. Mm-hmm. Oh, this, just like I studied Teddy, and I studied right. um, a little uh, Bobby Wall, Mike, and Tyrone Davis, and Johnny Taylor, and the other birds, and so on. So you have to study people right. that you feel deliver the message the right way. Uh-huh. And oldest man, I don't know. He, he died. He left too quick, man. man. Twenty something. I think he was tw- <laughs> twenty six or twenty seven years old, man. But oh man. Man, I, well, I went, and, I went back and just got a lot of documentary on him. I went and got some of the old films and, and uh, look at some of the old, even some of the YouTube videos. Because the older man, when he hit that stage, it was on fire. Exactly, you know? exactly. And, and that's what you want to do. You want to you want to be able to light that spot, that stage up while you're on there. So when people uh, um, uh, walk away from your show, they can say, man, uh, man, that was, ooh, you know, you want them to just be breathless, you know. Okay. You know? And that's what Otis did. Joe Tex, do remember Joe Tex? I had the Tex oh, yeah. on him. Yes, I got a chance to see know Joe. James Brown was. I ain't got to tell you about him. Yes. So, so you want to always? I mean, I can't don't give him the, the start to my no dancing. I can't do no dancing. <laughs> but James Brown was was electrifying with that dancing. But I was looking at the guys that did the vocals mm-hmm. and did it all with the vocals. You know, like the Joe Tex, Bobby Wall, back and so on, so on. And then James Brown with the with the screaming and hollering. And right. Did, and, um, you felt it. Uh, And that's what I felt on your last, I mean, the shows I've seen you perform on, I mean, you had them wowing yourself. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I'm saying. I concentrate on trying to create what it's going to take to have people to say that, because if you don't, then people are just sitting there lost, like, what, what is going on? Yeah. You know? I got you. you. Know, I mean, even when me and you went to see Earth Wind and Fire, mm-hmm. we walked away going, wow. Wow. <laughs> You know. Exactly right. <laughs> so that's, that's what you have to do. Now, I'm doing that because not only do people pay good money to see, you know, concerts like, you know, what we put on these little concerts, mm-hmm. but you want them to not just feel like they paid money for nothing. You want them to feel like, I, I saw something that was worth paying for. Right. So, but I'm, uh, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, man, and I'm going to pray that you guys get me in that area. You know we've been talking, Jeff. Um, We've been talking, uh, and we're going to do stop, it, man. I want to stop all the clubs. Okay. I don't care if they hold in the wall hall. They can be whatever. Mm-hmm. I want to stop all the clubs to show that I appreciate all the support and all the love that I got out of that area. And then if I have to sing a song before I leave, that's fine. But I want to give back the love to that area because I know people say, well, why you don't want to come here? Why we don't want to see him? When you going to do a live show in this area? Man, look at him. Put it together. Let's roll. That's right. Jeff Floyd, ladies and gentlemen, hey man, I appreciate the talk, and we're gonna talk again. And you know what we talked about earlier today. We're gonna right. we're gonna do that, okay? Well, I appreciate the love, man. And listen, right. Hattiesburg, y'all hold on, I'm coming. Okay, Jeff Floyd, thank you, man. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you. Bye bye. That's the one and only, Mr. Jeff Floyd.